Well, the restoration project externally, as you see in the west elevation here, we've had um, a lot of a lot of extensive brick repairs being done, um, a lot of pointing being done. We've actually replaced two two windows there, which were bricked up, um, and the roof itself, we've replaced certain number of tiles, over 66 tiles on there, cleaned it off, um, made that watertight. We're replacing the Victorian black ash pointing uh, for new Tudor double struck uh, pointing. And that process involves removing the old pointing, preparing the space between the bricks and introducing a traditional hot lime mix which involves um, quick lime and building sand and sharp sand. Now the benefits of doing that is it allows the building to breathe again. It allows moisture to go through the joints um, instead of through the bricks, which is what the black ash and what the cementitious pointing was doing previously, and that's where the damage occurs. We're also replacing any defective bricks with new handmade bricks uh, from HG Matthews. And we're looking to finish the entire project on uh, April 2019. Uh, within that, there are certain sections of the building that we want to complete. Uh, for instance, the groundworks to the south path, along with um, the west range at around the end of July, um, the north range in uh, two sort of phase sections of September, and then the following um, being the April 2019 date. Uh, the things I've most enjoyed about the project is working at Fulham Palace. The historical fact is meeting the public, doing my tours, etc. Uh, site manager tours is very interesting. Um, brick fests, things like that. Um, uh, and with that, with involved with, with, with the building work itself and restoring a, um, a very beautiful historical building. Yeah, for me, the greatest thing I've enjoyed is the privilege of being part of the story of Fulham Palace, of the restoration works and bringing it back and, and revitalising it, uh, especially this front elevation, but also gaining access to certain areas of the palace, for instance, the roofoid, that people just don't have access to. It is a real privilege for me. Uh, the tours themselves involve obviously a walk around the site, um, looking at the restoration work we're doing here, the brickwork, explaining what, what's, what's going on, uh, also in the quad area, and the internal stuff along this west elevation and north range elevation, where we're doing the refurbishment again. Um, but a lot of the work in there is preserving the historical factors, and actually um, we've discovered a lot of features that have been hidden. Then also we've been sh showing people um, some of the floor structures that would have been worked etc. So um, that's been very interesting.